Well, here we are in the gym, continuing with our instructional programs, teaching you how to train your body parts properly. It's all about good form, and today we're gonna to go through back. I'm here with Alastair White, accomplished bodybuilder, exotic dancer, and everyone's favorite welder, ladies and gentlemen. Back is one of the fundamentals of training. If you don't develop your back evenly, then you'll have bad posture, and all your other body parts will suffer, and you'll get injuries. For your chest workout to be successful, your shoulder workout to be successful, you need to develop your back. And remember, it's very, very important to have a balanced body. You can't train one, one body part without the other. So that's the basic of back training. We're gonna show you good form throughout this program and starting off with deadlifts. Hop into the deadlift, Al. Feet nice and wide apart, grab the bar and set yourself up. Now before we start, here's the most important thing and Alistair's gone straight into it. Look at his back, flat as a tack. Hands at least at shoulder width. Now you've gotta push through your heels. So up we come with the bar. Now, when you get to here, you put your hips forward, lean back a little bit, roll your shoulders back, stick your chest out. That's a finishing position for a deadlift. Down you go again. Once again, bend your knees, put the bar down properly, touch it on the ground, reset, and up you come again. Shoulders back, hips forward, and you see everything's flexing right through here, all the way down to his feet. And again, now let's do a few reps. Now, with deadlifts, there's a couple of choices of hand grip. The way you did it, I'll just show us how you did it, which is what you would call just a bodybuilding sort of stance where your hands are over the bar that way, okay? Now go the powerlifting way. The powerlifting way is to have one hand forward and one hand back. The reason you do that is it completes your grip. So with both hands put together, you've got a full circle. The other thing is you'll see Al looking up at the top of the mirror like we do with squats. Don't look at the floor because if you do that, you'll find your shoulders will dip down below your bum height and you round your back off. And you see his eyes look at the same spot the whole time. Have a rest, mate. The two exercises that really tax you the most, as in use lots of other assisting body parts and really burn you out quickly, are deadlifts and chins. And that's why we do them first in the workout. Now, Alistair's great at chins, so we're gonna show you these. There's something you can do at home, something you can do just about anywhere in the world. You can find monkey bars and do them. They work your whole upper body, particularly your back. Depending which grip you use, they can work your outer back, your inner back. They do use your biceps and forearms, so they're a great all-round exercise and a great way to really warm your back up for the rest of the cable stuff we're gonna do. So, Al, we're gonna start off with a nice wide grip chin. This machine here is a hammer strength machine. We've got a variety of grips. It's great because you can change grip and everything else, but if you've got a straight bar, that's fine as well. So pull up, so your chest goes up to the height of the bar. That's a perfect chin, folks. Now, you see he pauses at the top. I haven't even got to tell him, and pauses at the bottom. You can see his rear delts are working, his lats are working, his arms, forearms. Everything's working this exercise. Makes your back nice and wide, and really, that's what most people want when they train their back, to get a bit of width and a V-shape. Don't look down, because when you look up, it does keep your posture good, your shoulders back, and you haven't got to worry about arching at the top. Now, we're lucky enough to have this contraption here that's got a whole lot of different grips on it. So I'm gonna get Al to show us a couple of different grips, including a close grip one. This is the most typical chin-up that people do. Nice and close now. And this works more this part of your back through the middle and gives you the meat in here. The good thing about changing angles, it hits a muscle from a different angle, and that's what it's all about, is shocking the muscle. So if you just do the same thing every day, your body's gonna get used to it. We adapt very, very quickly as humans, so mix it up. That'll do, mate. Good effort. Our next exercise is a lat pull down. The reason we're doing this one is because anyone can do it. The first two deadlifts and chins are quite difficult, particularly chins. If you can't do chins, work on this one until you can. Now, it's all about good setup. So the first thing you'll do is sit down, slide forward, get the pad at the right height, make sure you're nice and forward. Al, just grab it just inside my hands, so just about there. Even, even just inside a little bit further on this left one, bring your hand in a little bit. Okay, now you can have your thumbs under like that or over. I prefer over, but we'll work on it as we go. Now pull down hard to your chest, lean back. Now the trick is here is to get your shoulders way back. Chest out, shoulders back, pause at the top, grab at the bottom. That engages your lats, it makes these muscles work. The beauty of the pull down is you can use a lighter weight, do a lot more reps and get your form right if you're unable to do a chin up. One more. Now we're going to do an even narrower close grip pull down. So what I've done is just got a, a bar off a seated row machine. Most gyms and bars are all interchangeable. We're going to get in nice and close. Why do you reach up? Now, I've gone on and on and on about leaning back and arching your back. And this one I don't want you to. I want you to stay dead straight. So see, you sitting up straight, actually lean forward a little bit. Now pull it down to your chest, get your chin out of the road and grab it. Now, 
you see a whole lot of different muscles are flexing here through this part of the back, and this builds up all the meat in the middle of the back rather than just making it wider. One of the things we see at gyms all over the world is imaginary lat syndrome. That's the little guys that walk around with their arms out wide like they've got great big lats and they probably don't train their back. They certainly don't train it this way and learn how to put their mind in the muscle. Now we've got through all the pull down part of your back workout. The next half we're going to do is your rowing. You don't do all these exercises in one workout. Choose a couple of these exercises, go to our Max's website and you'll be able to put your program together. So the first of our rowing exercises is a seated row. Standard in any gym, great exercise for building your whole back and something beginners certainly should master. Let's go, Al. Okay, we've done this a thousand times on Muscle TV. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make him go all the way forward, stretch Al, right down so you almost put the weight, just hang your head a little bit on the stack, come back, pull your shoulders back, chest out. Now, you didn't get enough of an arch, so what you do, you put your fist right in the middle of their back and you say, arch. Just hold just for a split sec, even less. That's it, as long as you get those shoulders back, Al. Arch your back, chest out. That's perfect form, folks. That's what we're looking for. That's how you do a seated row. Our next alternative for rowing is a dumbbell row. Every gym's got a bench, every gym's got dumbbells. Let's go. There's a couple of things to remember, and once again, this is one of those exercises a lot of people do wrong in gyms all over the world. So, you see how it stretches the dumbbell out. You can even go forward a little bit with that dumbbell. Yeah, take it a little bit forward, you get a little bit more range of motion. Now, the only thing you can do better is as you pull it up, Al, look up. Come up, and as you go down, look down. Now, see that's put a bit more of an arch on his back. And one more. Perfect. And that's it. We've done all your pull downs, we've done all your rowing exercises, and this is our finishing move for back. This is an old school exercise that goes back to the 60s. It's been corrupted by the rise of the machines, but you can't beat a dumbbell pullover. Something all beginners should do, all advanced should do. Dorian Yates, six time Mr. Olympia, said this was the greatest exercise he did, and he was recognised as having one of the best backs of all time. Hook your thumbs over like that. You see the hole in the middle? That's where the dumbbell goes. Bend your arms slightly as you go back. Okay, bend your elbows, drop your hips right down even further and up. Now, go right back. You zoom in here and have a look how much his lats flex and how much it's flaring out. You're working your lats from the front. It's a different way of doing them, but it's a great exercise. We want to hear you breathe with this one. Suck the air in. Opens your rib cage up. Expands your whole upper body. This will help to grow your chest. Help to flee your lats. Okay, folks, we've got through the back workout. I wouldn't want you to do all of those in one workout. If you're a beginner or intermediate, pick two types of pull down, two types of row, mix up the reps, but most of all, put your mind in the muscle, concentrate on what you're doing so you can get the best results. We've had Alastair White here today, who's done a terrific job getting through all those exercises. Well done, Al. That's your back workout. And until next time, see you in the gym. Yeah.